And we have had a lot of humidity. Let's see if I can isolate that. This dust creates a barrier between any potential moisture and the wood. We're gonna be putting a, a big riser right in the top here. Go ahead and put that right there. The bottom is green sand. It, it builds up on the floor. You lose a lot of it over time. So I just raked it all up, wet it, and tamped it down. So that's my foundation for this. Keep in mind, this may have to be done again. I'm starting off with 150 pounds of sand. And we'll see how far that goes. Looks like I'm going to be using my floor rammer. I have to be very careful here not to hit the pattern. Keith Rucker acquired this floor rammer. He gave it to me last year. I have already kind of disturbed this a little bit. We may have to start again on this tomorrow, guys. Sand's not acting right. It's below freezing. Yeah, I don't know why I'm sweeping that away because I'm gonna be parting down to that. Now, if I didn't say, I do have a pneumatic rammer, but that thing gets the sand way too hard. But concrete, you can't just about tear a pattern and the flask up getting the mess out of there. What do you think about it, Dollar? Dollar and uh, Jake got to eat some alligator tail, a good 15 pounds of it, didn't you? <laughs> Don't ask me where it came from. I just know it was laying in the yard and they were gnawing away on it. So this is my first time with this pattern, so keep that in mind. I don't need that yet. Like I said, this is going to be the lightest part of the whole mold. We're going to do this all the way around. Now we're going to set our next part of the flask on there, and we're going to round that up. Now this is actually considered the cope, but it's going to have a top cheek on it that's going to capture this detail up here. And from there, I'm going to add the riser. I was getting ahead of myself earlier. That looks pretty concentric. The coping down to the parting line, that took the, uh, the longest. And as I said, this piece here, that's the pattern. This is just a core print. It is 31 degrees out here now. I gotta disassemble this. I'll set this up on its edge to the side, and then pick the cope up and move it out of the way. I gotta make sure I got a plan before I just go picking up on that. And it would be good if Josie were out here. Let me call her. Front. Okay. 
right. Now, uh, I gotta pick that one up. Hope the pattern stays in it. And set it on edge. And then I gotta pick it up and set it back down on this. The draft angle's going this way. I'll bet you that thing's coming out. Well, you want me to gently hold it in place where you pick it up? How you gonna do it? You ain't know where to grab it. It's gonna fall out that way. Oh. Let me get a marker real quick. Alright. Do you need to make a mark in the sand? No, uh -uh. as long as I remember it's on this side that's right Windy Hill Foundry, we're good. Surprisingly, that stayed. That's good. Alright. This thing's heavier than it looks. But you're strong. Yeah. Oh, Josie's ready. She's wearing her protective gear out here. <laughs> her sunflower mitts. I'm gonna spin this. I'm gonna turn it this way. I need you to help me, guide me. Come on, Dad. Turn your turn your hand back a little bit. All right. Let's start it. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Yeah. It is. <laughs> oh. I can't see the other side. Put your hand back. Man, I hope I didn't knock a bunch of sand off in there. Because that got loose. I'll find out later. I want to. I got to cut that sand down and clean it up. All right, I'm going to go. I am uh, getting ready to ram the heaviest part of it. If I did not specify how I'm doing this. And I'm not even going to try to separate it without Josie here. If this is going to go like that. So I got these trunnions that are going to be able to pick up this heaviest part of it. Now I got an electric hoist. I'm not going to be using that. I've got a snatch block we're going to use in, instead, which will ease that thing up and out of there. And honestly, uh, it's uh, 29 degrees now. So we'll see how my sand acts. I've got to mull up some more. I'm going to say I'm going to need at least 150 more pounds. I was going to pour it the other way. So this was going to be the bottom when I'm finished. I'm going to reassemble it upside down. I can't do that because the core prints chamfer up. 
not down. So I won't be able to lay the cores in with it upside down. Next thing is my riser. It's under the bottom now. I've got to pull it out, repair that little area, and and uh, or just leave it in there. I may do I may do that. And but then I got to have another riser right here. And then I have one here, 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 and here. I'm very frustrated. This is uh, not supposed to. I, I'm I'm not gonna say anything else. get this flat and then I'm gonna call Josie and ask her to come out and pull the rope If I could uh, have flipped the thing over and then took it off, but then I'd have to flip the whole thing back over again just to put those cores in there. That might be what you have to do. Oh, I ain't gonna, I'm not doing all that, not by myself. <laughs> all right, let's call it a night. It's too cold out here. We hung it up last night after that snapped off. So we gotta re-round this again, but we are going to put some reinforcement rod down through this part to try to keep this core intact as we separate it. And I don't know, we may end up having to flip this thing over before it's over with. I just don't know. So I separated the cope from what is now the cheek. Got it stood up on the edge. We got to move it over this way anyway because we want to be up under the crane. I was just a little too far, probably eight inches off center out of plumb with the center line of the mold. Now we don't have to worry about that. I also have some help coming. One of my subscribers, along with his nephew, are going to come out here and give me a hand with this. The only uh, solution to this is to roll the entire thing over upside down all together to finish ramming this. And then roll it all the way back over the other way just to finish that. And it can be done. It's a lot of weight, and it may... Uh, be a lot more weight than my rinky-dink overhead crane can handle. If that's the case, we will uh, uh, <laughs> we'll come up with something. I'm going to go ahead and cut out an additional one inch around that ring when we get ready to uh, re-ram that center and make that good. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I try to position the coat back on the cheek and get that in place. And then we're going to set the pattern back in there and get ready to ram this third section. As I said before, this third section is probably the lightest. Just got to remember, I, gotta, I just got to make sure I turn it right and uh it looks like the main thing i don't want to do is 
Don't sand in there. All right, so we got that back together. Now to drop our pattern back in there. So, I'm gonna try to put it back in as close to This is Eddie Wilson and Sam Gleason, and they come out here to pitch in and help me with this thing because I realized after last night when Josie and I were trying to pull that top off, we're, we're going to need some more muscle, so we've got it. Eddie lives in Madison, Mississippi. He's been a subscriber of mine for several years because this is the older style hat he's got on, one of the first generation hats. I ran into him again last year at the Stule Steam Festival in he had given me his card, and he said, anytime I need his help, call him. Well, <laughs> I called him, I, or Josie did. I, I was struggling. I hate to ask for help, but this this job's just, just way too much for one person to handle. And he brought his nephew, Sam. Sam is from Vermont, I just found out. Yep. <laughs> He's originally, you're born and bred there, right? Oh, yeah. What do you think of Mississippi so far? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad down here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you do, Eddie. Oh, certainly. Uh, I spent 21 years working for Entergy, and uh, my background is in um, law enforcement. In this case, um, uh, coming over to work for Entergy, I work in nuclear security. And particularly, my area is um, uh, training. My department trains all of our security officers to defend our nuclear plants against terrorist attacks. So I tried to get him to bring me some uranium. That didn't happen. <laughs> what brings you to Mississippi, Sam? Um, fishing mostly. Fishing. <laughs> can't beat the catfish around here. No, you really can't. Pretty good stuff. Well, <laughs> hopefully we got more to offer than just fishing. But yeah. you'll you'll probably know in here shortly. You don't want anything to do with foundry work if you ever wanted to. <laughs> I'll at least get the faces of it. Dollar, stay out of trouble. If I get too carried away, I want to lift these up. I don't want those in contact with the pattern. I'm giving them a minute, pulling them back just a little bit. Because once we uh, get to ramming, we don't want to drive these into the pattern. Push that down a little more. And hopefully this will be enough to, to help anchor that core. All right, guys, we have uh, got two slats on each side. Honestly, I'm out of boards, or I would have put two more, at least three more. But we're going to attempt to roll this thing over on its side and get it upside down and put it over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. And we're going to just come around the back side and ease her down. Wasn't as bad as I thought. What's that old saying? Many hands make light work. Yep. Looks good. I have a uh, spot in the center that crumbled on me when I took it out the first time. We got to take this off anyway. In this position to cut my runner mm -hmm. and my gates. So it'd probably be just as easy to put take this piece off and dump it and re-ram the whole thing. So let's do that. And 
And I think I can handle this okay. part of it. I think. <laughs> Sucker came off. Oh, I'll get it. That wasn't supposed to happen. So this is the dome. You know, I made this last night when it was freezing. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that had something to do with it. Looks like it held together. It does. All right, so if y'all could hold this. Sure will. Just make sure, watch those straps on the handles as we ease it back over there and Eddie can you see the uh, Windy Hill Foundry where it lines up um, where is my I don't have Windy you've got it over side. there don't you Sam yeah, I do All right. and it's over here yeah so. so we gotta go through it yeah okay you watch that handle let me watch that strap I'm gonna come over Take this strap from you. Okay. Yep. Am I high enough? You are high enough. Right. Okay, now. Now we need to just keep it level as we okay. ease it down on those pins. Too high on Sam's end. Yep. How's that? That's much better. Slowly. I think I'm, I look pretty well lined up. How are you looking over there? Looking good. Okay. You on the pin in the slot. Oh, yep. Oh, I cannot God. see. Do I have a pin? No. What do you think? Yep. You in the pin over here, Eddie? Yep, I am. All right, just be on the safe side. I'm going to pick it up a second. Let's make sure we didn't hit the nose of that. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can somebody look up under it? Sam? You see any sand that may have got bumped? Um, the, there's screw showing in the center there. Did the sand come off? You see? Yeah, a little bit. Uh oh. Okay. Uh -oh. All right, let's just put her down. We'll go ahead and put it back in, and hopefully I can fix that from the other side. Okay. When I pull the pattern. Okay. I'm in the hole. All right. We down? Yep. Roll this crazy thing back over again. I think that's probably deep enough. All right, so the main thing I want to do here is keep this thing level all the way, uh, you know. And uh, if you can just, I'll tell you what, 
I will pull, I'll, I'll take the weight off as long as y'all can keep that, that gap all the way around parallel. Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. You know what he's saying, Sam? Uh, equal distance all the way around this gap as it opens up. So we're going to need and that way it's space pull level this way, yep. but this way too. Okay. In all dimensions. Yep. Now I'll tell you, if it, if it helps, I'll put those slats back. Well, I did. They're, they're on there. That. Okay, so that that may help us. Yes. Guide it, you know, without it uh, getting cocked on us. Yep, and we're unscrewed from the top. Yep. Yep. So I think that will. I think that's going to help us at least until we're clear. Okay. Keep it fairly straight. All right, so the plan is once we get it up, if everything stays intact, I'm going to set this part. I'm going to just swing this over. Mm -hmm. All right, are we ready? Ready. Go ahead and okay, keep cool. it straight. There we go. All right. Something don't look right. Crap. All right. Let's try to ease it back down on there. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm lined up on the yep. pin. Okay, there. Alright, so we're going to set this out of the way to keep that from caving in. Ready? Ready. I'm going to pull this out. On the count of three. One, two, three. Some reason I'm stuck. It uh, it tore the sand out anyway. Okay. All right. We'll take it over here. I think we're going to knock off tonight. Well, my friends, uh, so far, no good. Uh, we're going to have to go back. I'm going to do some different things tomorrow and see what works better to pull this pattern. What I really hate is I had help to help me knock this off today, and they drove quite a ways to get here, and it, it wasn't going to happen. Uh, we were hoping to actually be pouring this. What do you think of all this hard laborious work well what i was amazed with is the uh, the weight of the the molds and the uh all the hard work that went into it and then when you get ready to pull it the disappointment when it mm -hmm. doesn't pull clean and it's daily thing around here guys i'm used to it i'm kind of numb to it as i told eddie and when i tell people that it, you, it takes thousands of failures to be as good as i supposedly <laughs> am uh, I, I wasn't exaggerating i hope I don't have to do this more than twice now. And we haven't even poured it yet. You have that that you have to factor in too as well. So it's 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 a guessing game at this point. But we will get it. Hopefully on the second attempt, I will have a better plan in place and know what to uh, expect on the next round. But Eddie and Sam, I do appreciate you guys coming out. His his wife, Kelly, is also with us. She didn't want to be on the video, but I, I want to thank all of y'all for joining us. And we just got through eating dinner, and now I think we're all three are ready to just go to sleep. Eddie told me that he'll come back out when I get ready to do this again. I do appreciate that. You're very welcome. This is the conclusion of what is part one. And I was going to try to keep this as a... Uh, two-part video but it's not happening yet but at least you got an eye full of uh what's happening with the capstan so far but I, I can promise you we're gonna pull this off we'll talk to you later
For those who have been asking about the Windy Hill Foundry hats, these are now available on my website, windyhillfoundry.com, under stores, or you can click on the above link. These are on the pricey side, but keep in mind the shipping is included. Have a good day.